which is what I call a blank canvas website editor. This basically means you can drag any element to any place on the website, sort of like how you edit a PowerPoint uh, slide. So here's the thing. Blank canvas editors sound good in theory, but in practice they can get complex and disorganized. Fortunately, Wix is the best blank canvas editor I've seen. I recommend Wix to anyone who wants detailed control over their website. So what makes Wix the best blank canvas editor? Well, it's mostly because they use a lot of small hacks to corral the chaos of the editor. For example, adding more text to an element will automatically move any elements below it further down. This is clever. In other blank canvas editors, the elements, they simply overlap, which is kind of a pain. Here's another example. Sometimes the Wix interface can get messy and cover up your website. Well, Wix added a little button, uh, an arrow at the top center that lets you quickly pull away all the menus to preview your website. It's handy. I would summarize the Wix philosophy as this, give the user as many options as possible and let them make sense of it. So for example, there's a ton of elements you can add to your website. Creations on shapes, icons, buttons, boxes, social bars, different contact forms, and audio players. If there isn't enough uh, elements to choose from, there's also a app market that lets you integrate third-party apps. So Tint lets you display social feeds like Twitter and Instagram, uh, or Live Chat, which basically adds a live chat window to your website. If there's a downfall for all of these options, it's that Wix can get cumbersome, choking on all of its options. Um, the editor can get plain confusing. It doesn't help that elements can sometimes feel scattered throughout the app. For example, the restaurant menu editor has two completely different interfaces, one for adding menu items and one for styling um, the actual menu. With Wix, you can design your own website from scratch. It's actually well suited for this among website builders because as I've mentioned, there are a ton of elements that you can use to design your website. Um, plenty of navigation options, huge array of shapes, arrows, lines, and icons, lots of, and, uh, lots of buttons. Um, style customization is broad. You can change your background and even set animated backgrounds, set custom animations, drop shadows, and, and more. Wix basically throws everything imaginable at you for designing from scratch. The one downside, there's no way to customize the global styles. For example, setting a paragraph text style. This means you'll be stuck doing a lot of individual element customization if you want to retain a consistent look and feel across the website. So here's an example theme. While most website builders let you change your uh, theme, Wix does not allow this. So once you choose a theme, you're locked into it. Here's another theme. Now Wix does its best to create a mobile theme based on your desktop website. Though unfortunately, it can require some touch up, sort of, I had to nudge my logo, for example, to get it right in place. Overall, it is Wix's impressive flexibility that's gonna make it worth uh, the choice for some users. Unfortunately, that flexibility is also what keeps it uh, from getting a perfect score from me. Wix has a tendency to get too scattered and unwieldy um, and can lack the polish of website builders such as Weebly and Squarespace. Hi, I'm Steve. Um, this is a room in my house and my full-time job is reviewing website builders. Basically, I try every website builder so you don't have to. You can find my complete guide to website builders at sitebuilderreport.com. Thanks for watching.